The definition of getting outside may mean something different for everyone, but... I think it's very important to, to get that that fire in your belly burning. Marshall Ulrich, adventure racer and best-selling author of Both Feet on the Ground, shares three tips to find your best adventure. For starters, discover what inspires you. When I was a kid five years old on a black and white TV, I saw some mountaineers on a mountain and their fingers were frozen. And, you know, I thought, holy cow, what's going on with these guys? But I wanted to be there. What gets your imagination soaring? Think about who you know that's done things you might be interested in and talk to them. But the key is, and I think everybody will sense, it's like, you know what, I'd really like to do that and let that, you know, follow that path and see where it leads you. Next, face your fears. I was afraid of water. I was afraid of heights growing up on a farm. We just never went to the pool. I really didn't know how to swim. So I got into adventure racing. And one of the reasons I did that was to face those fears. The more you expose yourself to the things that you fear, the easier it is to get out of your own way. Like how Marshall got into racing. I started and went out and did a 5K. Well, you know, I can do this. And so then I used that as a building block to leap into 10Ks, marathons, ultra marathoning. If you get bored, try some else if you're not happy with how you're performing move on to the next thing and stay positive if you keep concentrating on the negative and what you can't do instead of what you can do well then you know you're doomed finally enjoy the fruits of your labor when i'd run an ultra marathon i'd get super super sore afterwards and i'm laying in bed and i'm thinking to myself well i just you know, finish this 50 or 100 miler or whatever and my muscles were aching i savored that it was like, it's because you did something really difficult. The memories and stories can be savored and experience can be used to inspire the next adventure. What I like to say to people is, is don't take yourself too seriously. Just relax a little bit. And if it's meant to be, you know, go out and do it. Step outside yourself to discover your best adventure.